All right, 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 all right. You know, I feel like I come into every career simulation saying it's an interesting career simulation, but this, this right here, might be like the exact definition of an interesting career simulation because we are bringing the man who was practically the face of what 90s basketball is now described as and putting him in the 2000s, well, specifically 20s. This man who is not too highly ranked, but accurately depicted because he didn't go too highly in the draft back in 1986, Dennis Rodman, six foot seven. Don't know why 2K says six foot five, but it's gonna update after you get drafted you know the drill 210 pound power forward in the case you don't know by now whenever i do legends that were like kind of old when they came to the league i was making the youngest possible just for the hell of it you know we have more fun we get more time with them and uh yeah you get it this skinny six foot seven kid drafted to detroit led the league in total rebounds seven times how in the living hell did he do it well i don't know it's arguably the most interesting career simulation yet solely because he's an nba legend who has practically no exact basketball skill aside from being a hustle god so as you can see Draft Express has him as 21st. 2K has him at 35th. He'll probably get drafted within the first 20, honestly. In real life, though, he was picked 27th, which back then was uh, the second round because there was less teams. His strengths are good leaper, can hold his position in the paint, and keen sense of knowing what to do to get big stops. But uh, for his weaknesses, they literally just said practically that he doesn't know what the hell offense is three different ways. They said needs to work on long range shooting and jump shot is bad. Like you literally just said it twice. That's how bad it is. So we're going to see how the hell this man holds up and if he'll be also as dominant of a rebound as he was back in the day all right let's just see what the hell happens let me not be stupid and forget to mention i'm very aware he looks like well okay kind of young just the hair the hair we get it year number eight i'm putting him with the colored hair because that's when he got in real life the second he left the pistons and went to the spurs oh boy why do i see a bunch of picks that we never even see before let's see who goes number nine. Oh, isaac okoro oh with the 11th pick in the 2020 nba draft dennis rodman goes to the timberwolves it's actually a pretty solid fit i think they start like james johnson there right now yeah, i'll take it dennis rodman's a great example of the type of player that somehow knows where to position himself to grab every rebound yeah sounds pretty accurate you're a 78 overall he's ranked low but uh they were probably just underrating him wow ceiling dennis rodman all-star wait hold on don't disrespect my guy he's a hall of famer three point scoring d minus defense b minus for now rebounding a minus hustle 94 oh man the boo birds were out once again only a man named one cool you, you made a patriot cat and i added one badge to this man and for christ's sake it was worm how do you not give worm to the worm you named the badge after him you probably should have a couple more but i'm not gonna mess with anything else plus he was kind of raw in his first season he was a second round pick rather than being 24 coming into the nba a 19 year old very young raw dennis Rodman. is he become good on offense maybe i don't know imagine he just becomes Kawhi. that'd be wild as all hell dennis is the best power forward on the team so he's got that role on lock season number one 26 minutes a game sounds pretty fair uh third most on the team after uh, actually fourth shout out to Vail. michael stauffer is our coach in case you don't know this is actually the man that makes the 2k ratings i'm not even kidding he's put himself in the game as a coach he's why the hell not it's like the perfect use of why the hell not did anybody expect him to be an all-star first year? No. Did we expect Yusuf Nurkic to be an all-star? Yeah, of course. Also, shout out to my guy TJ who said, bro, I really forgot to like until you reminded me with the really, really surprised emoji. People have been applauding me for asking for likes because they forget to like the video. So, if you like the videos, you can like the video. It's really simple as that. Look who it is. Light's somewhere drooling right now. James Wiseman's rookie of the year for the Knicks. I wonder where Robin ranked in terms of points. Dennis averaged four points and 6.4 rebounds. His season high was 10, but his season high rebounds was 18, which is pretty good for your first season. These are actually like very oddly similar numbers that he had in real life in his first year so makes sense lloyd pierce was coach of the year he better not be coaching the hawks dennis rodman did not even make an all-rookie team this is gonna be a process and i have no clue what that process holds well we were one game out of the playoffs they actually put dennis back on the bench in favor of jay crowder he started about half the games for the season interesting i have a feeling he's somehow just gonna bug out eventually and become really good at the whole basketball thing i mean he is dennis rodman congratulations to contavious caldwell pope shaquille harrison retired anybody ever named shaquille from here on out is always gonna be cursed because you're never gonna look like a shaquille nobody looks like shaq well we traded that pick we're not smart oh boy we got dayron sharp we're not signing him why did cat just regress you're 25 anyways dennis is a 81 overall that's one hell of a jump i can complain no never looks like maybe in the modern day becomes a decent mid-range shooter who the hell knows at three though that three is not happening i don't think so okay cool you got a bunch of uh bronze rebound defense badges cool great incredible season number two congrats dennis here starting again i would hope so this team is literally asking for dennis to block everything at the rim you have d'angelo and jordan clarkson who the word defense is foreign to and well the same goes for cat but he's tall he can at least like just put his hands up jordan mclaughlin jj redding does goron dragic look like a high quality defender to you no i didn't think so dennis is on his own first game of the season he had 8.17 rebounds and four blocks news flash he's not an all-star just yet shout out to offensively skilled big body dennis robin also known as zion oh wow i was trying to see if he was on the dpoy but he's actually number one in most improved player also he is a power forward slash small forward that's what he was in his career 
it's a very different era and pj tucker can play center so I i'll change it in the future if i ever feel like it. like if it's needed and he needs to like start at center or something weird like that dennis rodman most valuable player all right i'm, I'm kidding marco fold six man of the year oh great anthony edwards most improved player well dennis lost that battle but he averaged like seven oh, of course he averaged 6.9 for god's sake he averaged over 10 rebounds already in his second season as well as almost two blocks and a steal look at the progress he put up 17 this season grab 19 boards i'm not gonna do this every season i promise the timberwolves is dennis rodman was a physical beast last night all right lee we get it wait that's the guy from the starters the show they canceled on nba tv no all anything just yet but we're the 60 which is cool dennis rodman versus jabari parker that might be the most opposite matchup i've ever seen in my life like uber opposite all right can we uh try and beat golden state that'd be pretty cool wow okay we actually we won two to four dennis rodman in game six four points and nine rebounds we do have to take into account that cat's pretty good at the whole rebounding thing too all right the clippers um yeah dennis rodman versus danilo gallinari this is another one of a bully ball matchup where the hell did Kawhi and paul george go you guys already got the hell up out of here how are you the second seed and wait danilo went back to the clippers i wish i knew i don't even want to know oh okay we're in the conference finals oh no they have jay crowder he wants revenge oh hey look it's paul george i see where he went now now i realize that they have three 90s i have no clue how they were the eight seed but i'm scared what we won the nba finals dennis rodman versus Giannis. yes on the biggest stage you would think it'd take a lifetime to get this type of incredible matchup but here we are dennis is averaging 6.3 points and 9.3 rebounds in the playoffs with you know his dennis defensive numbers are you telling me that dennis rodman wait can we give some credit to my man for a second this man is currently transforming the timberwolves into a potentially championship winning team i mean for god's sake you beat the bucks in one game by 20 all right can we like win more wait whoa whoa whoa, whoa. stop the simulation altogether give less minutes to dennis don't talk to him like that oh boy this is close i just want to see dennis stop be honest for one possession here we go we're up 121 120 wait beverly oh my god we have pat bev and dennis Rodman on the same team and i didn't even realize granted you can't really blame me because most situations not really rushing to the patrick beverly trade but the fact that we got these two dogs on the same team is scary as all living hell Giannis is fouled out well that's anticlimactic wait a second middleton has 40 that is sure d'angelo is like the ice and veins guy he should be pretty good in the finals hopefully he gets there one day but with this team and no dennis Rodman, yeah i don't know cody zeller why are you just leaving dennis that was all you what the hell oh boy cat open paint beautiful don't miss don't miss don't miss he missed why do we have five foot eleven no he almost just stole it right as i said that bled so back to the oh my god he just bullied him how did he miss i don't know imagine dennis takes the game winning shot where is d'angelo did he foul out too nope the team's just stupid all right jordan mclaughlin here we go okay wait cats on cody zeller i'll take it go ahead post him up please thank you very much cat go to the basket put it up please why did you not put it up why do you not put it up why do you not i already know it's over what what they counted that no 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 no, no. what they they count no way in hell that counted well i'm not gonna be mad that was one of the wildest things i've ever seen that was so clearly not off hey, yo they're still gonna disrespect my guy rodman well hey we're up 2-0 in the finals not anymore they won rodman eight points and 12 rebounds with three steals but uh not enough because well Giannis. i mean he did make a miss nine times it's pretty good for Giannis. if we beat the bucks in the final oh my god we're up 3-1 rodman four points in 30 minutes beautiful but the three steals and the five blocks yeah that's what we're here for dennis is about to be the most winningest player of all time i think that's how you say the word right winningness i don't winning is you get what i mean dennis rodman is an nba champion i i'm i'm speechless but we do have the guy who makes the ratings as our coach we could have rigged it i told you d would be good in the finals dennis averaged just about seven points and 10 rebounds in the playoffs the bad boy pistons won a championship with rodman in his third and fourth year so he actually got one earlier with the, the minnesota timberwolves darren collison retired but for real this time well we didn't trade our pick this year thankfully it's 30th hello rob dennis rodman is an 85 overall all he really got better in was defense this man's gonna win a dpoy for sure look at his defense already in his third year we got dante now too yeah this man can play defense himself and ronde okay nobody's excited to see ronde house jefferson sorry ronde you're basically dennis rodman minus all the skills season number three hey look at this hall of fame worm don't know why i forgot to check his badges but here the hell we are dennis rodman not an all-star he's not an all-star but hey um, um nikola vucevic is hello maverick man six man of the year Devonte graham upoi Giannis. but you know what really matters yeah you ain't got no rings my oh wait you you do ever oh okay my bad sorry Rodman somehow not on the all defensive teams yet but he'll get here not really too worried about him you know man averaged six points and 11 rebounds as um oh yeah you know we're just the first seed hold up do you see what i'm seeing on the right side over there oh hell no never mind dennis started all the games except for like seven probably just giving this man rest at the end of the season for no reason at all we have jeremy grant now too we're getting like every good scrappy defensive player in the world now look around they act like you don't exist and just say uh we have dennis Rodman versus zion wait what they have rj too i don't even want to know how that's possible and of course my league guy dennis shorter but can we please just beat them down i know they have a pretty good team but um thank you very much okay so so you guys are toying with me now huh now you're starting jeremy grant and still six man Rodman, huh no he's not gonna provide you with some sort of like scoring boost 
Warriors. He's Dennis Rodman, playing the Warriors for the second year in a row, except uh, this time they got Bol Bol. Hey, Rodman's starting again. That's cool. Probably playing the same amount of minutes anyways. Okay, um, can we just beat down this team real quick? That'd be really fun. 3-2. Okay, we're in the conference finals again, but now Denver. What the hell is going on with the power forwards? Our coach is more undecided with power forwards than Kanye is with album names. For the record, Dennis grabbed 21 rebounds this season, 11 offensive, and had an insurmountable 15 points. All right, guys, can we beat down Denver, please? That'd be really cool. Okay, it's 1-1. 2-1. 3-1. We're in the finals again. D-Rod is so far averaging 7 points and 11 rebounds as he makes back-to-back -back finals appearances as a Minnesota Timberwolves. He's up against Steven Adams' series. That's pretty scary. Imagine having the audacity to put Steven Adams as your power forward. Granted, this might be the least spaced team in the history of teams. That's why you deserve to get beat down by 23. Thank you very much, Jordan Clarkson. Rodman, 7 points and 9 rebounds. He's always playing like 30 minutes a game. They understand my guy's value. They outscored them by 14 in the fourth and um, Dennis Rodman, 8 and 9. Up 2-0. I cannot believe we're on the verge of, you know, like winning back-to-back -back as the Timberwolves. Not just yet, though, because um, for Christ's sake, Joel Embiid dropped 51. Just put Rodman at the center. Let me change him to slash center now. Tell me how, as I was doing that, they were starting him at small forward the last game. Who in the living hell would ever want to do this in the year 2022? Okay, let me let me change it back to small forward for now. I'll do it after the season. All right, cool. Great job. Incredible. Dennis put up two points, 17 rebounds, and three steals. That is the most Dennis stat line ever. Well, we lost the next game. Please don't. Oh, God. Here we go. We let them get to a game seven. For this here game seven, we're starting Rondé. All right, Rondé, you better do something because we are not going down in game seven. No, we definitely are. We lost in game seven. I think we just blew a 3-1 lead. That's not good. Oh, man. Of course, the guy that they wanted to start, Rondé, shot two for nine. Now, granted, Dennis shot one for eight, so I can't really say much. Lou Will retired. We drafted Tomas Arnold with the whatever pick. Dennis Rodman's already an 88 overall. He now has a bunch more gold badges like a defensive leader and rebound chaser. Season number four, aka the last season on his rookie contract. Also, what in the living hell is this? I had to take a double take. Arkees Bolden, 17 overall progression. We have him on a three-year, $55 million deal. Tomas is already starting. Why do we have 600 power forwards? I'm getting PTSD from watching the Knicks this season. For the record, Dennis was a two-time All-Star in his actual career. For now, he's still a zero-time All-Star in this one. Shout out to Chris Paul for no reason at all. Thank the Lord we traded Rondé for Chetty. Also, can Dennis win five rings like he did in real life? Well, I mean, he's on a pretty good track right now. Two finals appearances. Hello, Anthony. Los Angeles Lakers, DPOI. Rookie of the year, Marquise Bolden, our guy. So basically, he must have just went to the G League last year and uh, became good. Here he is. Don't know all anything for Dennis Rodman just yet. He averaged a team-high 11 rebounds, and he actually attempted threes and made one. Impressive. Started all but one game. Thank you very much, Rondé, for getting the hell up out of here. I didn't even realize Jared Culver left. But he's on the Mavericks who were playing in the first round. Kevin Love versus Dennis Rodman. Can uh, you just bully him down real quick? Okay, that'd be very cool. No, and great. We lost 4-1. Dennis averaged a double-double through the first few games. Why did Shams hashtag squeegee? Dennis is upset with everything that's been happening. He wants to be more involved in the game plan, and he's done with Minnesota. Well, I would like you to know that you're a restricted free agent, so you're probably not leaving. Actually, if there's anybody to ever get out of a restricted free agent deal, it's more than likely Dennis Rodman. Well, the six is repeated. Juan Hernan Gomez retired. Wolves drafted a 75 overall paint defender power forward who's six foot seven. Are they literally trying to move on from Dennis with Dennis? Nope, he's back on a big time deal. Five years, $195 million with a player option in the last season, as you can see right here. That is a lot of money. Guess they realized their mistake after starting Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Dennis is probably the most talented player without any sort of offense I've ever seen in any of these career simulations in the modern day. Like, at least Draymond can pass and dribble, you know? But he simply put a defensive and rebounding god as well. Like, you see the badges. He's got two more Hall of Fames. Going into season number five, D'Angelo Russell, two-time All-Star. Congrats. Hello, Luca. Javon Marion. Onyeka. Guyanis. And Zeke. Finally, all defensive second team, Dennis Rodman. Averaging, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He deserved it. His best offensive numbers were an astounding nine. Wait, what? He shot 50% from three? Look at that. This man has a pure stroke from downtown. Three for six? Oh, great. We're the seventh seed this year. We took one hell of a turn. Didn't we just play the Mavericks first round? I don't know. Young Doug at the starting small forward. All right, we definitely won this series for sure. Uh, oh, I, I was, wait, what? What? We were up 3-0 and just blew the lead completely. All right, now we just, we blew a 3-0 lead. Dennis averaged 12 and 11 in the playoffs, but it uh, didn't matter. What the hell just happened? I don't know. Now, granted, we probably should have lost to the Mavericks in the first place, but who cares? Yusuf Nurkic finals MVP for the Boston Celtics, of course, because who the hell is Jason Tatum anyways? For the record, Robin's already top 10 in the league in rebounding, and he's like 24, you know, he's young, and has a lot of badges to earn still. John Tate Porter retired. Mike D'Antoni went back to the Lakers and got the hell up out of here. Leroy White the third might just be the most normal but still weird name ever. Did we just draft Ekpe Udo Jr.? I'm just waiting for the free agency where everything gets ruined and we lose like Kat and D'Lo in the same year. Oh, it's not here yet. We almost have four 
90s. Ramen just getting better. He has a C mid-range shot now. He also developed Hall of Fame pick dodger and Hall of Fame off-ball pest. Season number six. By the way, we're only a couple years off from our colorful dentist, Jamal Murray, one-time all-star. Hello, number 34 for the Milwaukee Bucks. Eduardo, Jawan. We have the coach of the year. D'Angelo Russell, All-NBA first team. Javon Mary, an All-NBA second team. Well, Dennis, it was fun while it lasted. You're not on the defensive team anymore. Don't know how the hell that's possible, but hey, you still got some years. He averaged nine points and 11 rebounds. His morale is disturbed because um his usage is low. All right, Golden State, we, we played you guys like 18 times. Can we just beat you down this time, please? Oh God, here we go. I can feel the game seven. Oh, never mind, we won. Dennis Robin versus Zion once again, as well as D'Angelo versus Tremont Waters. Tremont, Tremont, I don't know how the hell to say that. I know it's a real person though, because I know in life you don't forget when you hear the name Tremont. Well, we're up 2-0. Uh, can we just finish this out? Nope, no, we can't. Just lost three straight games. That's incredible. We are about to lose to Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, I didn't want to see it anyways. That's just disgusting. Well, we lost by one. Dennis averaged nine and 11 in the playoffs with two blocks and one steal. Made two for three threes. Why is he shooting so many now? I don't know. Getting a little bit ahead of himself. Or just leaving him up every single play. Oh, Pelicans won a championship, so at least they beat us and then won. Patrick Beverly retired. This man, Dennis Rodman, has seven Hall of Fame defensive slash rebounding badges now. 19 total badges. Not going to show you that um he's not getting any other finishing badges aside from put back boss and playmaking it's just gonna be break starter so yeah basically just defense slash rebounder from here on out season number seven you know i'd be cool with a finals trip sometime soon what are andre drummond's doing in cleveland oh great i just genuinely went to go check on andre drummond in cleveland and my game crashed all right let's try this again are you being serious all right i don't care about andre drummond that much i don't even think andre drummond cares about how much andre drummond is doing in cleveland hey i'm about to go watch some andre drummond highlights said nobody ever okay then just like that dennis Rodman is number one in dpoy i have not seen this man top five ever but here he is a round mound of rebound oh, oh wait that's that's barkley the um not round mound of rebound oh boy he scored 23 this season here's how andre drummond's doing it. i'm scared just hovering over him at this point how the hell did this man drop a career high of 51 i don't even want to know anymore well here's young luca the mvp rookie of the year jen schumacher defensive player of the year dennis rodman don't know how the hell he's a 93 his career is just taking a life of its own and honestly i'm not surprised at all what else would you expect from dennis rodman oh boy we got dennis rodman versus zion again except zion's in uh portland this time uh are we gonna act like we don't see that okay look this man should not have been a free agent signing a minimum deal out of all people not lebron's son 2k i hate you i don't but i do oh time to go back to the drawing board after this simulation at least we're up 3-0 can we just sweep them real quick that'd be nice thank you very much speaking of spalding they're really changing the ball from spalding to wilson shout out castaway d'angelo russell versus tj mcconnell this should be fun all right cool we won four to two so far averaging eight and ten in the playoffs mr rodman the conference finals against bo bowl and jonathan kuminga and ricky Bryan. sacramento can you guys just move out of the way real quick that'd be really nice thank you very much and now oh okay so dennis robbins at small forward huh we're just playing around with them at this point onzo versus d'angelo the former lakers look you see the matchups man no way in hell we lose this series right can we just yeah it's okay cool it's 3-1 robbins best game so far was a four point and 15 rebound outing oh it's a pretty close game bolden just hit a game winning shot potentially so uh, let's see if we can get a defensive stop this is robin's forte well dennis fouled out you would have thought we could have had some happiness and joy and who am i kidding we might actually win a championship here again harry giles in the post against cat if we lose off harry giles in the post against cat i'll cry on, oh god maxi for three and okay he missed we won the championship dennis rodman has two rings in what seven years probably should have more ronnie is the finals mvp too bad he's not going to be here again after this season more than likely you know dennis got the bottles they got 2k on the bottles i've never realized that dennis Rodman dropped 13 and 12 and you know the last game ronnie you probably didn't deserve finals mvp you shot seven for 23 jesus lebron get your son some efficiency d'angelo carried the hell out of us through the whole playoff run well i think Rodman's like the best overall on this team at this point and he's averaging 9 and 11 we got danilo gallinari a ring before he went out sir dominic pointer retired i have been waiting for this moment as we go into season number eight dennis Rodman is officially the prime multicolored dennis Rodman that we all know and love okay except for maybe like charles oakley and charles barkley and carl malone all right you, you get it hey he has back down punisher now and well because cat has somehow regressed this much already at just 31 years old with no injuries on robin's the best player on the team overall wise and could leave after this season if he declines the player option which i wouldn't doubt oh yeah and of course brownie has gone like i told you he would be season number eight starting small forward justice winslow the man averaged half a point bowl bowl one time all-star the king dennis only averaged double digit scoring one time in his whole career so he's not necessarily underperforming in that facet at all but yeah he's number two on dpoi right now don't even need Bronny. we're still great 42 wins hello mvp guy jehorge 
Lamont. Well, Dennis lost his DPOI thing to Giannis. Not Zion Williamson, Raymond Williamson. Dennis Rodman, still all defensive first team, of course. He said, I'm done with Minnesota. I'll be moving on to a new team after the season. Let's just say he has a lot of thoughts. Dennis Rodman versus Laurie Markin in the first round. I guess we have Shakir O'Neal now. Not really as crazy as Bronny, you know? So can we still, like, you know, fulfill our second seed thing? Yep, we just 4-0 swept him. Now, uh, New Orleans, you guys don't have Zion. You instead have Mitchell Robinson and Aaron Gordon. Yeah, I'll be honest, uh, not really that scared, but we might still loot. Nope, we went 4-0. I guess the winning thing's kind of easy without Bronny even. Now, the Kings were even worse than last year. Um, Can we just beat you guys down real quick? Well, it's 1-1 for now. Okay, what the hell just happened? I don't know, but we won in game 7 by 30. Dennis had 16 rebounds. He's averaging 10 and 11. Okay, well, fake 10, 9.7. I can't even round up for him because I don't want to, like, exaggerate him averaging, du averaging double digits. The Atlanta Hawks versus the Minnesota Timberwolves in the finals. John Collins versus Dennis Rodman. And Trey Young versus D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, it looks like we lost game one. D'Lo, 42. Cat, 34. Nobody else even in double digits. But hey, Rodman's God. Second game. What? Well, we just got blown out. D'Angelo is trying hard as hell in every single game we've ever played. He's like a sweaty my team player. And there's Rodman who just grabs a couple of rebounds and calls it a day. So that's our third straight game. And it was, uh, you know, by three. D'Lo committed an offensive foul with the game on the line. That's definitely not ice in your veins. Would have never guessed that the Timberwolves will make four out of the next eight finals. But here the hell we are. But at the end of the day, um, we lost. We got 4-0 swept. And we simply, I mean, uh, just got out offense by the Hawks. Trey Young is Trey Young. Dennis is Dennis. Artem Kozlov retired. Okay. Dennis Rodman is gone. He told us he was out of here. Now, where the hell did this man go? The Orlando Magic. Because what else would you expect? In real Minnesota? Yeah, I got nothing. Dennis Rodman has teamed up with basically just Shea Gilders Alexander and uh, Malik Beasley. Oh, for God's sake. Our fifth best player is Rondé Holly. Oh, God. D'Angelo, I miss you. And an old Kemba Walker. Old Devontae Graham. He's just giving me he should be playing in China vibes. Well, um, uh, he has a bigger opportunity now for sure. As we go into season number nine. I make him a power forward slash center now because, well, um, team's best center is an 80, so they could decide to do whatever the hell they want. 38-year-old Kemba Walker starting, though, is a disgusting look. Since he went on over to a new team, changing Dennis to a Chicago number, which is 91. I know it's a year early, but I don't care. Our coach is Michael Hunt. Guess what? We beat down the Timberwolves by almost 40 in our second game of the season, and Robin had 11 and 17. We're 17 and 5. This man is a walking win. Everywhere he goes, he just wins. Dennis Rodman, one-time All-Star. The man is now averaging 11 and 14. He's grabbed 25 rebounds in a game this season. And he's fourth in the league in rebounds. What the hell? No, no, not what the hell to Trey Young. I just realized that when I'm recording this, it's actually Dennis Rodman's birthday. Good season, Trey Young, but your spotlight just got stolen, so I move along now. Well, Dennis lost the DPOI race again, because Giannis is really tall and stuff. This guy looks deprived. Not of anything in specifically, just everything. Sleep deprived. He looks hungry, old, weary. Dennis Rodman, all defensive first team. First time ever averaging double digit points. Beautiful. We are the second seed in the conference. I mean, yeah, I guess we just got it done. Shout out to Shea. And old man Kemba. Oh my god. They're starting Mitchell Robinson and Aiden alongside each other. I'm officially scared. I won't be surprised if we lose. Um, yeah, we're gonna lose. And this finishes with 10 and 13 per game, while Shea averaged 30 for the hell of it. My god, the man put up 50 in game six and still lost by two. Yeah, um, they probably were just like too good for us, I guess. I don't know. We probably shouldn't have been the second seed. We're more of a regular season team. Shout out Toronto. Pre Kawhi Toronto. Mikey Williams of the 76ers wins finals MVP. Oh god, that's scary as all hell. Sixers lost Tobias Harris to the Mavericks, who they just played in the finals, and they got Mikey Williams instead. I think it's a good trade off. Tobias Harris retired. Ennis Rodman, 94 overall. He's still only 28. Ember Walker probably retired. As we go into season number 10, Dennis Rodman, two time All Star. A nice sight to see back to back. He's number one in DPOY, and he's averaging 15 points a game. I guess this is what happens when Kemba leaves. Who else are you going to pass the ball to, Shea? Oh, well, I guess Stan Woolridge. But yeah, aside from that, oh, I guess Malik Monk too. Whatever. Dennis took the initiative. He's reaching peak Dennis Rodman form. Young Luka. Dennis Rodman, defensive player of the year for the second time. Matching the amount he had in real life. Most impressive thing is that he's shooting 60% from the line. Coach of the year, J.B. Bickerstaff. Didn't make an All-NBA team. The fourth seed, well, uh, Philadelphia. Oh, God. Really got to play the team that won the championship like 12 seconds ago. A and they just, what the hell. They were up 3-0 and then we just came back and forced the game seven. Here we go. We, uh, yeah, we lost. Dennis, a uh, good playoff performances, I guess. But Mikey Williams is Mikey Williams. I'm almost happy to see him come back into form. It's been a minute. The Indiana Pacers won the championship. Shout out to DeAndre Aiden. Andre Drummer retired. So we drafted two draft and stash guys last year and now another one this year. What kind of obsession do we have here? The Orlando Magic would have too many players overseas. What the hell is wrong with you guys? What? I'm not, I'm gonna let you guys resolve that, all right? What kind of addiction is that to have? That should be like a Spurs thing. Orlando has never successfully developed a player. Speaking of developing, 
developing. I don't know what, but uh, Dennis now has two more badges that I can't figure out because they're not Hall of Fame. But, hey, he's pretty good at, you know, the basketball thing. Season number 11 at 29 years old. Well, Dennis isn't an all-star anymore. It's cool, though. Still number one in DPY, though. You want to say anything I just said? Probably not. Imagine having a 1v1 Dennis. I feel like he just randomly hit seven threes on you. Ike Williams, most valuable player. Dennis Rodman, DPOI. Basically, what, 13 and 14 a game. Bosto Balestrieri, most improved player. Alexander Chrisdale, coach of the year. Still couldn't make an All-NBA team, and we're the eighth seed, which is incredible, because we're starting Jaleel Okafor at center. Oddly enough, we look better than the first seed. I don't know what the hell is going on. Maybe we just beat him right now. That'd be pretty cool. No, we're just going to lose 4-1. That's cool, too. Dennis Rodman, 16 and 13 per game in the playoffs, aka the five games of the playoffs that we just lost in. Mikey Williams, another championship. Congratulations, Philly. I feel like you guys have won it like six times in this one video. Also, probably should mention that they beat down the Sixers. Burt retired. Sacramento doesn't exist, so they hired David Fisdale. Thankfully, we didn't draft a draft and stash player this year. Um, Dennis is gone again. I honestly forgot that he had a player option and could dip, but yeah, he did exactly that. Magic, well, they replaced him with Jason Tatum, but we're not worried about them anymore. Where the hell did our guy go? Dennis Rodman has signed with the Golden State Warriors. It'll take a while, guys, and say Curry still isn't around. Since, you know, I don't even look at the people that actually retired that are actually good at basketball. He usually just mentions someone 86 rows down. Oh, boy. Dennis Rodman, BJ Boston, and old Tyler Harrow. Got flamed the other day on Twitter for um, getting a haircut. I'll let both woke Twitter and non-woke Twitter live. Season number 12. Every team this man goes to becomes incredible. I have no explanation for it. How do you make a team so incredible and you don't even score? You just play some fundamental defense. He's not even as dominant of a rebounder as he's in real life in this game. He's just that guy. Alonzo Gaffney, one-time All-Star. And if you get another DPOY, that'd be cool. How are you not an All-Star? You're averaging 15 and 16. Luca, hello. Pierre Sonnet, Rookie of the Year. Dennis Rodman, DPOY. The King himself. I believe his first ever 15 rebounding season and his highest points, more than likely. So you're telling me this man was not an All-Star. One DPOY for now the fourth time and now made the All-NBA second team for the first time ever. Well, the first time ever on any team. You're the second seed in the conference, led by a somehow 95 overall Dennis Rodman with a bunch of 80s. And we're playing Zion and Bull Bull. Oh God, I'm scared. And I guess we do have a decent amount of scores on this guy, Edward. Um, he's at 81. He averaged almost 20. All right, can we just uh, win, please? We just we just swept them. We swept Zion, Bull, and De'Aaron Fox. Now Phoenix, well, um, you guys are pretty good a couple years ago, but not anymore. Can we just, um, yeah, thank you very much. Now Dennis Rodman versus Luka Doncic and Alonzo Gaffney. Here we go. Um, oh my God. In his first ever year with the Warriors, Warriors, Dennis Rodman has matched up in the finals against Mikey Williams and Ben Simmons. The ultimate matchup of them all. Oh my god. This man put up 26 and 18 in game five. He's averaging 16 and 16 in the playoffs and three steals. 26 points is the most he's ever scored, I think. As the team is playing him 39 minutes a game, he's evolved into one hell of a beast. And now, um, well, Philly, can you guys please just lose real quick? Game one is very, very close. Rodman has 21 and 17 on 20 shot attempts. We have to jump in. Boston with the ball. Boston screened by Rodman. Boston pull up three. Okay, yeah, that was stupid. Oh, God, I'm scared of Ben Simmons. Wait, Ben Simmons on Rodman? Oh, boy. Rodman, please. Rodman is the clamp god. Rodman all over. Si what? You're kidding, right? Come on, Dennis. The screen for Boston. Boston out to Cassell. Cassell for three. It is all Rodman. The putback to give the Warriors the lead. Oh, God. Now we got Mikey, the real goat. Mikey steps back for three, and he misses rebounded by Rodman. Wait, that's not Rodman. That's Cassell. I'm stupid. Down to Sullivan. Sullivan back out. He lost it. Sullivan now a layup. He missed that. Here comes Ben Simmons. Simmons to the basket. Oh, God. He just got blocked the hell out of his shot by Rodman. Imagine what Rodman was thinking when Ben Simmons went up with the Kareem skyhook right into his face in uh, 2000 and whatever the hell. Yeah, nah, bro. We retired this move in, um, what, 1989? All right, we're probably gonna win this. For some reason, we just... There's five seconds left, and they have a chance to win it right now. I don't know what the hell is going on, but um, all I know is that Ben Simmons jump shot at the buzzer. Okay, thank God. We win game one in a very, very close effort. Robin, you God. Saving the game by blocking Ben Simmons 6'9". So, actually, it might be 6'10". I don't know. 23 points and 19 rebounds in 44 minutes. Jesus, they're playing the hell out of this man. He's probably not tired at all. Gotta have the most stamina for like a 31-year-old. Well, we were in another close game and then we somehow blew it at the end. But uh, yeah, um, Rodman, well, uh, you had eight points. I mean, it's Dennis Rodman. What do you expect? Every game from him to have 25? And we're gonna lose another game. That's great. Rodman, eight and nine mikey williams 39 we're down 2-1 okay we're, we're about to go down 3-1 this isn't good dennis has made the finals i think what five or six times but he's about to lose yet another one 15 and 10 in the final game on six for 19 shooting as the six is when another one and ben simmons is the finals mvp he averaged a pretty incredible 15 and 15 in the playoffs but here we are ron 
Rondé Hollis Jefferson retired. This right here is the world when Rondé Hollis Jefferson retires. We know who Dennis Rodman is at this point. Season number 13. The team captain, Dennis Ro Yeah, oh, you would have thought. But hey, he is a three-time All-Star, and he's like the number one reserve, averaging 15 and 15. I now go to the DPOI just to see his stats. But well, um, we're somehow really, really bad this year after being really, really good. Maybe the somehow is the fact that our starting point guard is 72. Hello, Maye Oni. Mikey Williams, MVP, averaging 37 a game. Dennis Rodman, DPOI for, I think, the fifth time. I'm just not going to check. Most improved player, Rex Ryder. Coach of the year, Barney Rowe. Dennis Rodman, all NBA first team. Finally, they put in respect to my guy's name. All it took was him averaging like three more points. We actually made the playoffs with 39 wins in the West. All right, why the hell not? Um, uh, yeah, the Clippers, even with a 73 overall point guard, we should probably beat you down real quick. Or we could just go down 2-0 and then, uh, well, uh, okay, and somehow we just won the next three games. We just beat the Clippers. Dennis Rodman, 24 points and 20 rebounds in game six. This man is averaging 17 and 17 through that first series. I wish I knew what the hell was going on. Oh my God, Brevin Powell, 86 overall, 50 and 10 in game five on 14 for 15 shooting and eight for eight from three. So yeah, no wonder we came back to win this series. Our players just went God mode. Now we have to play Jackson Mayo. Do I seem like I'm scared of Jackson Mayo? I don't know, maybe. Nope, we beat him down four to two somehow. But somehow being this guy named Brevin Powell playing like God. Tyler Harrow still holding in strong at 46 years old. All right, Dallas, we meet again. This time, well, uh, we're even worse, but you guys don't have Porzingis anymore. So can you just give us a series win, please? That'd be really cool. No, okay, great. Oh, you still do have Porzingis, just old. Well, Dennis, it was a pretty cool playoff run. His season high this season. Well, obviously this season. What the hell am I talking about? It was 27. Shout out to Mikey. And uh, the Mavericks won in seven games against the Pacers. Dennis led the playoffs in rebounding by far. He was second in the regular season. He eventually has turned out to become Dennis Rodman on the rebounding front. Ani Walker retired. Dennis is Dennis. Season number 14. Starting point guard, Wes Bonner. Steve Kerr is still the coach. I mean, I guess he's pretty young. Dennis Rodman, four-time All-Star. He's going to win another DPOY. He's averaging 17 rebounds. It's just not fair at this point. He's six foot seven and averaging 17 rebounds a game. Yeah, his career high for rebounds in real life was 19, so he may not touch that, you know? Or maybe he will, because you never know. By the way, all my comments right now as I'm recording this are all saying Dennis Rodman re-simulation. That's pretty cool. Shout out to you. I'll put a screenshot in the video or something like that. You probably saw it. How many is Luca one? Seven. Sure, why the hell not? RV Hammonds. Dennis Rodman. DPOY. Again, six times and five consecutive. Yeah, he's pretty good at the whole defense thing, you know? Well, this is our old coach. All NBA first team. Hey, Jackson Mayo. Hey, Bronny. Remember when you helped us win a ring that one time? Yeah, me neither. Can we team up again, please? Ricky Bryan, all defensive first team. Third seed against Memphis. They still got Ja like 16 years in advance. All right, Memphis. I mean, I know you guys are like cool or whatever, but uh, yeah, thank you very much. Honestly, I say like all that stuff like confidently, but I'm never confident winning a series. Like, I don't understand how we're this good. All we have is Dennis and some guy named Dana. Well, the Lakers got Lonzo and Bam, so uh, that's kind of scary. And we just beat him down four to one because why the hell not? Dennis 22 and 21. The first seeded Phoenix Suns with the god Darius Garland. All right, guys, um, you know, this may be it. Yeah, it's it. Yeah, we lost. These playoff runs are fun while they last, but um, you know, 17 points and 16 rebounds. That's pretty cool. The Suns just blew a 3 0 lead to Onyeko Okongwu. Great job, guys. So our two leading scorers are Jason Sims and Dan Met. We're just led by a bunch of like low 80 overall guys on offense. Like Dana doesn't even score either. He's basically just Dennis Rodman 2.0. Yusuf Nurkic retired. Dennis Rodman has left yet another team. The ultimate journeyman. Jesus. After all these years, Dennis Rodman went back to the Timberwolves. He said he was going home. Well, he didn't say it. I just said that for him. He's officially regressing as a cat and D'Angelo are long gone. All he has here is Jada McDaniels, who kind of just looks like Bronny, and Vince Simpson. Yeah, this is probably worse than Golden State. Actually, you never know. Then again, when Dennis joins, teams have become incredible. This could be where he starts and where he retires. Season number 15. Our coach is now Taylor Jenkins, starting shooting guard Bruce. Somehow this year, Dennis didn't make the all-star team. I don't know what the hell is going on with him in these all-star appearances. Oh, well, he's averaging 10 and 14 rather than like his older numbers. He regressed that much? Luca, we don't care. And the guy named Sunnet already win an award in here, so do we have like family lines developing? 2K mad intricate with it. Well, Dennis, we get it. You can defend. All right, that's gonna do it for the video. Um, thank you for watching. I'm Dennis Cody. Oh, well, we didn't make an all NBA team, so that's great. Of course, he had to come back to Minnesota to become bad again. Dennis Robin versus Amani Bates. Oh, God, we gotta play the Suns. That's scary. Um, yeah, can we just, um, please win? We won. He set a new career high of 38. Well, then, I don't know when the hell that was. He's not breaking that 34 rebounds, though. All right, Sacramento, you guys got um, Edward Parker. Can we just win real quick? Sacramento, um, yeah, get okay, great, great, great. Oh, we somehow lost to the Kings because they're the Kings. You wouldn't really expect the Kings to be good, but here they are, the Kings, number one seed. Oh my God, Luca retired. And it's a great job. Malik Monk retired. Stelios Diamanabanabanabanama retired. And it continues to regress. Now only has five defensive Hall of Fame badges. I say only like he's still not a god. 
season number 16. Didn't even really realize that we signed good basketball players, but hey, here we are. Jen Schumacher, one-time All-Star. Dennis, you can calm down now. It's been a minute, you know? I get it. How you come back to Minnesota and you're unsatisfied again? What do you expect? That one putback he had was honestly worth this whole video. That was beautiful. I've never seen an incredible positioning like that. Alonzo Gaffney, most valuable player. For God's sake, it's another Maverick. When the hell will it not be a Maverick? Rookie of the Year, Perry. Hey, Dennis. Here goes Deprived Man again. Six seed versus uh, the Lakers. Dennis versus Antoine. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about this one. Um, okay, never mind. Just sweep him. Just sweep him. Sure, why not? Back him out to you guys beat us down last year. Somehow you're missing somebody this year, probably because you're not the first seed anymore. But well, uh, you swept us. Yeah, Dallas, we're not surprised. You guys have Luka in the MVP. You can just pick an MVP at this point. Dennis, he did great for a 35 year old man. You know, there's like a surplus of former Dennis teammates on the screen right here that I can announce. But Bo Bo retired. Dennis is now a 91 overall. Somehow this Kent guy went up by four overalls. Actually, he was the number one pick like what what three years ago yeah i guess i see why he's good now and he's probably gonna leave after this year because he hates every team he's ever on being named defensive player of the year has me on cloud nine you're on cloud nine anyways dennis you just skip games to go to vegas yes right i saw the doc season number 17 so dennis made it back to the all-star team maybe he is happy now i don't know getting a chance to participate in the all-star weekends there's multiple all-star weekends vindicates all the hard work i've been putting in vindicates dennis vindicates but yeah he's averaging 17 rebounds a game he grabbed 28 rebounds in a game which at 35 years old, which is fitting considering that he was pretty old during the Bulls days when he was like really good at rebounding, is probably his career high for this career. Hey, Mikey. I just remember that this guy's won MVPs before. It hasn't always been Mavericks. Dennis Rodman, in year number 17, decided to average 11 and uh, 16. How the hell is a player averaging that and not make the all NBA teams? I don't know. But for God's sake, the guy is six foot seven and has won nine DPOIs. Reminder that in real life, he won two. I didn't even think he'd be this good. But hey, we have three 90s now and um, well, we're the fourth seed, so can we be pretty good this year? Let's see. No, we lost in the first round. Dennis put up six. 16 and 15 the last game in typical Dennis fashion, but um, yeah, it didn't really work. Greg Brown, Brooklyn, congrats. Devon Marion, retired. He'll probably beat up most of his records, but I'm putting this uh, hyphen once again for the hell of it. We don't know what the hyphen's for, so I could instinctify him from the past Dennis. This man has left another team. Where in the living hell did you go? Oh my god. What kind of sick cycle is this, Dennis? Minnesota, Orlando, Golden State, Minnesota, Orlando. Only team that get this man locked up is a team in Vegas. Season number 18, the man's a 90. He's very gingerly regressed if that makes any sense at all he's still playing 32 minutes a game even with the old disease how the hell is every team he goes on just good it doesn't make sense mikey dakulas balides dennis terrell sixth man of the year and dennis Rodman dpoi again heading back to the young dennis numbers of uh nine points and 14 rebounds this is his 10th dpoi greg lawson just looks like john jenkins but even older all right dennis what you got for us this season oh my god we're the first seed oh greg lawson's our coach understood a 2k 14 my player i have no clue why you're in the free agency they're sleeping. I should be sleeping. It's at 1 a.m. and I'm recording a Dennis Robin career simulation. And we just got swept 4-0 in the first round as the first seed. I'm definitely enthused. The average is the same numbers as always. The Cavaliers won a championship without LeBron. Yeah, it's over. League done. Dwayne Knox. Dennis is still always going to lead the league in rebounding, though. Guy Towns retired. Welcome to the team, Uwe. If Dennis goes back to the Warriors somehow, I quit. I'm ending the video. No, he resigned. So, season number 19 at like an 88 overall, or whatever the hell it just said that I just didn't look at. This man has the most stamina out of anyone ever. Hey, Colin. Not Mike Jordan. Not Mike Will made it. Mikey Williams. Jumario. RV. And Dennis. DPOI again for the 11th time, I think. I don't know. It's too many. Oh, wow. The first year with a team that wasn't, like, was good, but wasn't good, I guess, because we didn't make the playoffs. How do you win 43 games and not make the playoffs in the East? I don't know. At Adelson? Adelson Costa, the finals MVP. Dirk Schroeder retired. Jesus, Dennis. If he went to the Warriors, I'm simulating to the end of the video. The Los Angeles Lakers. Of course. Where else better to ride? In real life, Dennis went here himself in the ending days of his career. So did old Carl Malone, old Gary Payton, old Steve Nash, and young Isaac Bonga. Season number 20. Still has two Hall of Fame defensive badges. Hey, look who it is. George Philemon. Oh boy, he might not win DPOI. Who the hell knows? Probably still not even up here for God's sake. How? You're in year 20. Should not be possible. I get it for some freaks of nature like Wilt Chamberlain, but like, you're 6'7 and 210. How are you still managing to do this? Mikey, like, we get it from you now as well. Well, Dennis Rodman's DPOI streak is ended at like what 10 shout out to ross ellis taking the throne the free throw number is a little bit too high for my liking though richie Steele. i've not seen this coach in my life he kind of looks like a young jimmy butler or is dennis still in the all defensive first team because he's dennis you know but we missed the playoffs which isn't the greatest thing you know i guess dennis at like 47 years old can't always make teams incredible my god
God, Mikey, calm down. Alo Banchero retired. And it's left again. The Nuggets. Ah, yes, makes sense. Mile High City. Still a starting power forward because everybody else sucks. Actually, they have Ulf Enquist. Season number 21. 2040. Yeah, he's not even top five in DPOI anymore. That's tough. Oh, no. He only averages seven and ten. My God, he shot 40% last year. Yeah, LA really ruined him. Or at least they tried. You can't ruin the king of defense. Mikey, how are you still good? Ross, congrats on your reign of terror. And Jason Kidd, coach of the year. Yeah, it's time to go. And if you can even make one of the defensive teams, oh, yeah, it's definitely time to go. We're actually the second seed, though. We blew through the first round in the second. Okay, okay, we're in the conference finals. Granted, he's not starting anymore, and we have no clue who the hell any of these guys are, especially Lefteris Baladis. But, well, um, uh, yeah, we lost in game seven. Dennis, potentially his last NBA game ever. Two points and 12 rebounds. Great way to sum it up. And it makes sense that Mikey won the championship again. Men's won five rings and seven MVPs. That is officially going to do it. Dennis Rodman has retired from the NBA after 21 years pro at 40 years old. For his career, he averaged about 10 points, 13 rebounds, a steal and a half, a block and a half, two turnovers per game, 47 from the field, 23 from three, and 62 from the line. He made 20 for 89 threes and had 715 double doubles. So Dennis Rodman finishes second all time in rebounds, surpassing Bill Russell by just about 200. He was not able to beat Will. This though is pretty crazy for a guy who's six foot seven. For the record, the other Dennis Rodman, aka his past ego or whatever the hell you want to call it, alter ego. Yeah, that makes more sense. 11,954. So I think he like more than doubled that or something like that. Yo, I don't know. It's close enough. Dennis also finishes 15th in blocks with about 2,700. Ethan steals with 2,419. 18th in minutes. 21st in turnovers. Took me until now to realize this man turned over the hell out of the ball. It did say on his scouting report at the beginning that he had a hell of a high tendency to screw up on offense. So he averaged 13.1 rebounds in his old career, you know? In this one, he averaged 12.7. Good enough. Dennis had his best years in Golden State, so I would check out those team records if it wasn't that Wilt dominated all of them, so we won't even see him there. So for Orlando, he grabbed 28 rebounds in a game, which is the second most in franchise history and his career high. You remember this game that Shea dropped 49? And for the Timberwolves in one of his like last seasons, he grabbed 28, 28, and 27 in the same season. Cracking the top five for their list three times, which is pretty wild since they have Kevin Love on it. And the cat guy, you know? Lastly, is award history. Two-time NBA champion, five-time All-Star, two-time first-team All-NBA, one-time second-team All-NBA, 11-time Defensive Player of the Year, which beats out the NBA record by seven and nine more than he got in his career. 14-time first-team All-Defense, one-time second-team All-Defense, and that's it. He did better in absolutely everything except for championships. He had three less, but I mean, he still got two and had like six or seven appearances, which is pretty wild. So will Dennis Rodman make the Hall of Fame? Yeah, of course he is. I mean, you never really know with 2K, but yeah, the guy was like the best defensive player of all time and one of the greatest rebounders of all time. Did not have his jersey retired with any team. Then again, he played with like 87 different teams. That is officially going to do it. This is a very highly requested career simulation. I wasn't sure how the hell he was going to do, but I was still excited for it anyways just to see how the hell he was going to do. And well, he exceeded my expectations for a six foot seven forward in the uh, modern day by a lot. I wasn't sure if he'd be able to win multiple DPOIs and he won 11. Thank you for watching. You could like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all. If you're one of the people that watches all my videos and then doesn't subscribe, then why the hell not? You might as well. Let me know what you want to see next and I'm out of here. Cut.